For today's Monday makeup lesson, I wanted to create a classic soft glam look. And nothing says classic soft glam more than the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. This palette with its pinky, bronzy, understated mattes, these pearlescent shimmers and the rose gold, it is just perfect for a soft glam look. And this look can be created in just five simple steps. It is a look for all age groups. It's really easy and I hope that you will enjoy it. Now, if you're new here to the Makeup Chair channel and you do enjoy tutorials like this, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started. I wanna first swatch out these shades just in case you don't have this palette. So maybe you can try and find some similar shades that work for you. The two matte shades are these matte medium bronze and soft pink. They're very buttery and so smooth. I can tell why this brand is actually very popular with mature skin because on mature lids, this is not gonna weigh them down. They feel really lightweight and really airy, but they still have a lot of pigment, which I really like. Then the shimmer is a very fine, buttery soft shimmer. Feels lighter than the mattes even with this very finely milled, pearly pink shimmer. And then the last shade is the classic rose gold. Less pearly, more glitter a little bit on the chunkier side, a little bit heavier, but it's great for topping over eyeshadows to give it that kind of glazed style finish. So hopefully you'll be able to find some shades that work for you, or maybe you already have this palette. So let's get started applying it. Firstly, we have to prime the eyelids. I know it's an extra step, but it does make such a difference. This will remove any natural discoloration that we might have on our lids. It will also create a blank canvas for us to work on while giving the eyeshadows something to hold on to. Our lids are very thin, so they do need a little bit of a helping hand. And that's why a primer or even just a matte concealer, which is what I use because I have dry lids, can go a long way to making sure that your eyeshadows are going to pop and also go on so much easier for you. So I like to cover the entire lid from lash line right up to my brows, tap this out, and if you feel like it's still a little bit sticky, you can go and apply a little bit of powder over the top. What this will do is create a nice smooth area for us to blend over, and if you're not great at blending, a little bit of powder will definitely help. Next, you wanna grab your favorite blending brush, any blending brush that you like, and we're gonna start with the bronzy tone from this palette. Now, I want you to keep your hands quite low as we apply this slightly above the lid. So just think of your lid as one area and then anything above that as another area. We want to apply this back and forth in this area above the lid. Now the reason I want you to keep your hands quite low is because I want you to slightly hit upwards. Keeping your hands low will actually make sure that your blend is a little bit higher. And then slowly as we build up and add some depth, we can bring our hands up ever so slightly. Now, if you're not sure where to stop on the outer edge, what I recommend is creating like an imaginary line on that outer edge of the eye, using the edge of the eye and the brow as a guide. Now you can still go outside and sweep past this line, but what you always wanna do is make sure you're going at a angle. So always keep that angle going upwards and this will create a more lifted appearance for your eyes. Once you have done your low blend, what I then want you to do is to bring your hand up a little bit higher and repeat the same process. Process. The lower the hand, the higher the blend is, meaning that we're going to get a sheer wash above the lid. But as we create a little bit more depth, we want to bring our hands up a little bit higher. This will just create a little bit more depth in the crease area. It also prevents you from blending it up too high so you don't get that really smoky kind of blocky look above the lid. It should keep it nice and soft while also creating a lot more depth right in that crease area. For the next shade, I'm gonna be using a slightly smaller brush, but you can keep using the blending brush if you want. What you wanna do with this extra shadow is to create more dimension and blend out the bronzy tone. So I'm basically going in and around the bronzy tone, still following that same angle that we imagined before, but we're just gonna keep it nice and soft. I'm also using a slightly smaller brush so I can really press this on the outer third of the lid. We're not gonna be covering the entire lid with this pinky tone. I'm only gonna be focusing on the outer third. And you should end up with something that looks like this. For our next shadow, we're going to apply this using a flat brush or you can use your fingertips. And we're applying this beautiful pearly shimmer 
right to the inner lid. I want to create the illusion of almost like a cut crease. So a cut crease is typically where you apply like a light concealer or an eyeshadow primer to the inner corner of the lid once you've done all the rest of your blending. And what this does is just opens up the eyes, gives you this really wide-eyed appearance. But if you're very careful with your placement of your shimmer and you're getting right up to the crease without going too far beyond that, you will create a very similar effect. That's also why I would recommend using a brush over your fingertips just so you can get a little bit more of a sharper line. As a bonus step, you can apply some of that rose gold on the outer edge of the lid, but you don't have to if you want to keep this quite muted. I just find it is a little bit on the chunkier side with the shimmer, though I did apply just a small amount over the outer third of the lid. This next step is optional, but I'm applying a deep brown eyeshadow on the lash line and adding a slight wing on the outer edge of the eye as well. Now using an eyeshadow instead of using a liquid will just keep this really soft, keeping with our soft glam look, while also adding some definition. And I'm also using a deep brown instead of a black because I feel like it complements the muted tones from this palette. And then all you want to do is to apply your mascara and some lashes, and that is the finished look. If you try this one out, definitely let me know. I would love to see it. I am actually planning a makeup lesson on lashes soon, so if you do have any questions, let me know. I was going to upload it today, but I wanted to go back and go through some of the other questions that I've gotten before about mascara and lashes and application. So I'll check back on my notes, and hopefully that video should be up soon. So maybe check back for that one if you're interested, or if you want to make sure that your question is answered in the video, you can leave a comment below. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you in a video really soon.